I've been working out for about three or so years now at this point, and I've had a lot of trial and error when it comes to my workout routine. So if you're someone who's just getting into working out or just aren't sure where to start with your routine, then you're in the right place. I've always been one of those dudes who's been very afraid to become one of those extremely jacked dudes who like can't even touch their back anymore because they're so big. So if that is your goal, this routine is not going to get you there. This routine is more tailored towards people like me who are trying to put on more size while also keeping more of an athletic build. So I'm going to be breaking this routine down into three different parts that I personally feel are very important when it comes to achieving your goals. And those are first, the workout routine, second, any supplements and diet, and third is the recovery. So let's start things first off with the workout routine itself. So I currently run a five day workout split. Previously, my workout routine I posted, I believe was a six day. I've now jumped down to five days just to give my body a little bit more recovery and I feel a whole lot better. That being said, since I did take out that sixth day I only run one leg day in my week now honestly my legs are big enough I don't really want to put more size on so that was just a personal preference but you can always incorporate another leg day if you would like first things first on Mondays I start off with a chest day obviously I'm not optimizing for strength in any of these exercises my main goal is putting on size I really do not give a crap about strength at this point in my life which is why I have my workout structured the way it is starting off with seated or standing cable flies a lot of people on chest say start with bench press because they're trying to get their bench stronger me personally I'm not again just take parts of this that work for you you don't have to follow this exact routine if you would not like so this just make sure good squeeze in your chest it's very important that you control this movement as much as possible a thing I've also been dabbling in a little bit recently is doing half reps so there's actually new studies that find doing the lengthened part of the movement for example on a bench press or a push up would be the further down extended where your muscle is fully extended and going up only about a half rep has the exact same benefit as doing a full rep in regards to muscle gain and your muscles get less fatigue so honestly i think it's a win-win i don't fully endorse it yet i've only been trying it for a few weeks so i'll let you guys know in like a few months if i do notice any difference or not but that's something i am trying here so if you see me doing that in some of these clips i promise i know what normal form is i promise right after that we jump into my barbell bench i do three sets of 15 on bar barbell bench just focus on your contraction getting a good contraction and getting full range of motion and I superset that with push up till failure after every single set this let me tell you is a burner you're going to have the craziest pump after this I promise you you are going to failure on your push ups so you're not going to get as much on your bench so keep that in mind you're not going to be able to do what you normally do on bench from there I jump into incline dumbbell press on the bench and I superset that with low to high cable fly standing on each of these exercises I do four sets of 15 reps when I say 15 reps it's kind of something you have to work towards but I go about one to two reps from failure on every set I do that's just what works for me and I can recover from that just kind of find what works for you and be at that one to two reps from failure from there I go ahead and end off my chest day with a hundred push-ups I have this broken up into as many sets as I need but I just need to hit that 100 push-up mark and I superset those push-ups after every set so this could be three sets if you do 33 push-ups every single set or it could could be five sets or 10 sets if you're doing 10 push-ups or 20 push-ups per and that is neck curls essentially what you do for this you can sit on a bench propped up a little bit so that your neck and upper back is hanging off the edge of the bench you can use a plate if you want honestly you don't really need a plate I feel plenty of contraction in my neck without using a plate and you just want to focus on full range of motion and make sure that you actually use your neck muscles so you want to really focus on the contraction in your neck rather than just getting your head up and I'll do that about 15 reps per set that I do. Next, Tuesday is back day. My back days are pretty straightforward. They're very high intensity and they really don't take too long. Kind of this whole entire program, I tried to make it as efficient as possible so I'm not working out for two plus hours a day. So if you want to add movements to this, take bits and pieces, again, feel free. So I start my back day off with four sets of pull-ups until failure and I'll superset those pull-ups with a reverse grip barbell row. You want your elbows to be about shoulder width apart. You want a good hinge in your hips and make sure to brace your core very very tight any rounding in your back can be very dangerous first of all but it also negates some of the gains from doing the rows so just make sure to keep your core very tight control your breathing and pull the bar to about your belly button 
and I'll do about four sets of 15 on that as well. From there, I'll jump into single arm lat pull downs on the cable. This was made very, very popular by JPG Coaching. I believe that's his name. Don't quote me on that on TikTok. A lot of you might've seen this. It gives you the craziest mind muscle connection in your lat. It's actually quite amazing. So if you've never been able to feel your back during movement, give this a try. And then I don't know the scientific name for this, but essentially this next exercise, I just put my knee on the bench and I do a dumbbell row and I do three sets of 15 on either of those movements. Finally, I finish off my back day with some auxiliary movements. I'm putting a lot of emphasis on my auxiliary movements in this workout routine just because I'm trying to grow some of the other muscles people generally don't focus on. So first thing I go ahead and do is I do shrugs, four sets of failure. You could do barbell shrugs, dumbbell shrugs. I kind of switch it up every single time I do it just to keep variety. Then I do forearm curls four times failure as well. I do two different variations of forearm curls. The first is just a dumbbell overhand curl on the bench and the second one is just a cable forearm curl to failure as well. For Wednesday, we have our arm day. We start things off with a shoulder press variation. I do a few different variations on this. I switch between standing as well as a sitting. Make sure that you are doing a warm up on each of these days, especially on your shoulders on this arm day though. Me personally, I have shoulder problems already, so it's very, very important that you warm up and please do not forget that. And then I'll go ahead and superset that with some reverse delt flies. I just use dumbbells for these. You could also use cables just depending on what you feel it best. A good little cue for these ones is go out and far away from your body rather than just trying to get the weight up. You're going to feel it a whole lot more in your delt. You can also turn the weights to the side if you want rather than having them parallel with each other. Then I go ahead and jump into some Arnold press on the bench. I opt to not have my back up against the bench for this movement to try and keep my core very strong. So just make sure you brace your core on all of these movements. Then I do three sets of 15 on that movement. Superset it with seated lateral raise right away. And what I do for these is I kind of do a drop set. So I go to a failure doing half reps with the weight that's a little bit too heavy for me. Once I can't do any more reps with that heavier weight, I go ahead and drop to a weight that I normally do or a weight that's a little bit lighter than I normally do. And I do full reps until failure for lateral reps. Then I go ahead and jump into combination curls. I'll do eight reps of combination curls on each arm. Once I finish those eight reps, I'll jump to hammer curls as my super set until failure. And I do three sets of that. Once I finish up with that, I go ahead and jump into to barbell curl and I do that movement for three sets and I go tell failure every set. Then I'll go ahead and end things off with my triceps. I'll do some cable push downs, cable extensions, four sets of 15. I'll then superset that with dumbbell overhead tricep extension and then I'll end things off with a skull crusher movement. Thursday we jump over to leg day and I have two different variations I'm going to show you for this. The first one is something I've been testing out recently and actually love a lot. Essentially it's very very basic. I just do a hundred reps of squat waiting squats generally I do about 45 each side so 135 pounds my max just so you know is around 315 pound just so you could gauge how low I drop for these sets and I break these up into as many sets as I need to hit that 100 then I do the same thing for RDLs 100 reps as many as I can per set now on the days I don't do that here is a more structured leg routine so I'll go ahead and start things off with squats four sets by 10 and I'll superset that with kettlebell swings four sets by 15 then I'll go ahead and superset RDLs three sets by 15 with three sets of wall sits for one minute per set. Finally, I end that off with lunges, three sets of 15 each leg, supersetted with heel elevated goblet squats, three sets by 15 as well. And some days I don't have it written in, but if I'm feeling crazy, I'll also do some calf raises, believe it or not, throw in some calves. And finally, we have Friday, which is my upper body day, full upper body day, and it's a very high intensity workout. So this is a fun one. I start things off with an inclined or flat dumbbell press, just depending on what I'm feeling that day. I'll do that three sets of 15. I'll superset that with three sets of pushups till failure. And then I also do three sets of pull-ups till failure in a nice little triple superset. Then we jump into cable lateral raises. I do that three sets of 15. I then go to combination curls, three sets of 15 as well. And then overhead cable tricep extensions for three sets of 15 as our second triple superset. Finally, I end things off on this day with three sets of 15 of my neck curls. I superset that with three sets of failure on my forearms and end things off with three sets of failure on my traps. On every single one of these days, I do about a five minute ab finisher just to make sure every part of my body gets hit. So now that we got the workout routine all broken down, which I 
also have linked in the description if you want to bring in copy and you do want to follow it completely free. You don't got to put anything in. We're going to go ahead and jump into our supplements and diet rules. So my supplements I take, I don't take too many, but here are some of the very important ones I believe for muscle gain. First is fish oil. This has shown a lot of benefits in heart health and overall just really, really good for you to take. I then take ashwagandha as well as creatine. These are all very healthy supplements that have had a ton of testing done on them. So you are very safe taking these. I don't put anything. I don't do a lot of research into my body and I haven't found anything a little bit freaky about any of these. So a good general rule of thumb for your protein intake is about one gram of protein for one pound of body weight. Honestly, in my opinion, I think that's a little bit excessive. You really should be okay with anywhere from about 0.6 grams to about 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight. Eating clean foods is very, very important. Try to avoid processed foods as much as possible. I really don't do great about this, but if you want to feel good, which in turn obviously leads to a better workout, then eating clean is very important. And if you're someone like me who's trying to gain weight, or if you're someone who's watching this who's trying to lose weight, a good general rule of thumb, obviously this is a case by case basis, but if you want to gain weight, you will need about 500 calorie surplus that you're eating every single day. And if you're trying to lose weight, you want about a 500 calorie deficit. I also linked a little calendar in the description of this video, just a random one I found online that you can could use to find how many calories you're supposed to be taking and then you could subtract 500 or add 500 depending on your health goals and then finally for the most important part in my opinion the recovery your body is going to be going through it when you're doing this routine especially when you're adding in some other things like some things i do like muay thai and jiu-jitsu and then going on walks so it's very important that you prioritize recovery because obviously you don't want your body going to crap at 30 years old so here are some things that i do daily that i highly recommend first is stretching for 10 minutes a day you could just look up 10 10 minute stretching routine on YouTube. That's what I generally do, or you can find an app, really whatever works for you. I then do some form of cold exposure. This has countless benefits and there's so many studies. It's a really big thing right now. I've been doing it for the past probably a year now, every single day, and I've absolutely loved it. I then do heat exposure. I don't do this every single day. I do this a few times a week, but this is a amazing thing. I know it does kind of suck having to sweat and stuff, but it's very, very good. So either sauna or steam room for 10 to 30 minutes a day, depending on the heat level is very beneficial. I then do 10 minutes of cardio. This could be a walk, run, some sport, it really doesn't matter, but getting some form of cardio and get your blood flowing, very smart. I then drink a gallon of water just because your body needs water to recover and build muscle, as well as when you're taking creatine, your body needs a little bit more water because a lot of that water is absorbing into your muscle, so the rest of your body isn't getting as much, so you just need to provide a little bit extra. So that is my updated workout routine, and what I do... <coughs> Holy frick. And what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Again, I have everything linked in the description of this video for you to check out completely free. Follow me on Instagram. If you have any questions, you could DM me. I'm more than happy to reach out and answer anything you may have. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.